Welcome back to the Let's Chinese channel. Today we're going to talk about why Chinese prefer sons. In China, there is a strong cultural preference for sons. This preference is rooted in a number of factors, including traditional gender roles, inheritance customs, and the country's one-child policy. Traditionally, men have been viewed as the primary breadwinners in Chinese society, while women were expected to take care of the home and family. As a result, parents often prefer to have sons who will be able to support them in their old age. Inheritance customs also play a role in the preference for sons. In China, property and wealth are traditionally passed down from father to son. This means that parents with sons are more likely to ensure that their family's assets will be passed on to future generations. The one-child policy, which was in effect from 1979 to 2015, also contributed to the preference for sons. Under the policy, couples were only allowed to have one child, which led many parents to choose to have a son in order to ensure that they would have a male heir. Despite the fact that the one-child policy has now been lifted, the preference for sons remains strong in China. This is partly due to the fact that the policy has led to a significant gender imbalance in the country, with there now being around 33 million more men than women in China. This cultural preference for sons has led to a number of negative consequences. One of the most serious is the practice of sex-selective abortion, in which parents abort female fetuses in order to try and ensure that they have a son. This has led to a significant imbalance in the number of men and women in the country. Another negative consequence is the abandonment and neglect of girl children. In some cases, parents may give up their daughters for adoption or abandon them in order to try and have a son. This can lead to a number of problems for the girls, including poverty, lack of education, and poor health. Despite these negative consequences, the preference for sons remains strong in China. However, there have been some efforts to try and change this cultural mindset. The Chinese government, for example, has launched a number of campaigns to promote gender equality and discourage sex-selective abortion. In conclusion, the preference for sons in China is rooted in a number of factors, including traditional gender roles, inheritance customs, and the country's one-child policy. Despite the negative consequences of this preference, it remains strong in the culture. Efforts to change this mindset, however, are being made by the government to promote gender equality. Anyway, that pretty much sums up why Chinese prefer sons. Let me know your thought about this topic. Do you think this situation in China can get better in the future? Thank you all so much for watching and listening. Hope you enjoyed the video.